Another thing. Today we're going to be looking at uh, sketchbooks. I'm doing a sketchbook tour, something I've not done in a hot minute, and I am way behind on it at this point. Uh, I've had maybe five or six or maybe even seven sketchbooks since the last time I showed you guys one of them, and I thought I would remedy that today uh, by showing you two, count them, two sketchbooks. Normally I would dedicate an entire video to just one of them, but these two kind of go hand in hand because they're back to back with one another and this one I was kind of working on as I was working on this one. I need to look at the exact dates on them, but I believe these were from 2019, it's like March of 2019, uh, yeah. January, February, March, April, May of 2019. So these kind of ran congruently to one another. This one's not nearly as important as this one, just because this one's like light sketches and this one's, this one's like full color most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I've been practicing a little bit. I'm actually gonna try a uh, some speed running techniques on this. And I'm gonna see if I can pull off the uh, backwards long jump glitch, and if I can get through this in a new world record. Uh, so we're gonna try that now. So, it's not easy to do, we're just gonna... Here we go! That one's pretty good. <laughs> Who doggy? We made it. That's gotta be, that's gonna be a new record. Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. That's, uh... That's a new record right there. Very good, very good. Anyways, we're moving on to the next one now. Now this is the sketchbook that I'm actually pretty excited to go through. I got some stickers here on the front that I just picked up somewhere along the way. I love this sticker. I love this Pac-Man sticker. I wish I could find it somewhere else. I need to find it online because I'm sure it's somewhere else. And it's just some more stickers. I got that when I went to South Carolina. Um, I painted this across the front. I don't know why. I just like that design. I thought it was fun. This is another one that I bound myself. And I did this with... Uh, these are just some, like, paint cards. I did this with some of that Crescent Render paper, and because of that, I really just got to go kind of wild with all the different colors I used. Like, these were Copic markers, a Mushroom Man, some stuff there. And I mean, like, it's got all kinds of stuff, like watercolor, which, I mean, again, I don't think that watercolor is supposed to be in here, but still. And a lot of this I did when I was going to California, actually. We were staying in California for maybe two weeks or something. I think it was more like three weeks. It was fun. We stayed there at a cousin's house, and I just made a bunch of stuff there. This was done with an airbrush. Uh, half, half on accident. I taped it off knowing I would make a thing with it later, and then I added the cactuses later on with like a brush pen. Um, it's a guy I never finished. Couldn't decide on a name for him. Like, I mean, there's like, it's supposed to be very like, vaudevillian, I guess, based on like, Charlie Chaplin. I never finished his color scheme. I feel like that's pretty eye-catching. Never named him. The Mighty Yew Tree. Uh, some John Wicks. I think I like that one the best. That one or that one. like some Spike Spiegel, some graph paper I had. This is a piece which I have, I have affectionately named the Gummy Man, mostly because of his colors. This is some of those, uh, 
Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Uh, they're calligraphy pens. Uh, one minute, I can grab one for you. Here we go. They're called Pilot Parallel Pens. Uh, and they're just calligraphy pens. They come in a bunch of sizes. I don't like the caps on them. But yeah, just a bunch of sizes and they write in nice, straight lines. They're very cool. I would highly recommend them. They're cheap, too. You can get a lot of them for not that much. I think they're like $7 a piece. This is like some kind of twisting spaceman or something. I believe I actually drew this on a plane. We were going to South Carolina when I drew this. I was like California and then South Carolina like back to back. And I think a lot of these I had sketched out a long time ago. And then I kind of went back and colored them later. I know I did these on the plane though because I was very bored on the plane and did not know what to do. Some cactus people. We got uh, some kind of mannequin man, and then uh, Peter Capaldi over there. Uh, some of this stuff is just stuff I don't really feel like showing, I guess, so I've covered some of it. So you'll have to excuse me. Uh, these both, I drew both of these while listening to one of my favorite albums, which is called The Dreams by uh, Delia Derbyshire. She is the woman that did the intro theme to Doctor Who. There's an album called The Dreams, which was like an experimental album where she tried to uh, cover the feeling of being in a dream, essentially. It's, it's really wonderful. I'd highly recommend seeking it out if you can. There's that one picture I did in that one video. I was pretty happy with that. This is some stuff I'm not quite ready to show yet, so... This is taken from a dream. This is some more of those Pilot Parallel pens. I guess it's kind of Dark Souls 3-ish, like a city up in the sky. There's some Frank Frazetta drawings. There's like a little cartoon beaver underneath this. I was going to sketch up a logo for a company. They needed a beaver, so I started to do that at least. Some helmet designs and whatnot. This one has shown up. Uh, in a video, and then this is a very Dune-inspired drawing. I wish I had sealed this because it's starting to come off over here. I like that, like, sci-fi desert. This one was done- Oh, excuse me. This one was done with oil pens. These little sharpie ones. Very Mason Lindroth kind of sketch right here, trying to figure out his colors. Speaking of which, here's some some fan art, which I don't do a lot of fan art, but uh, I did draw Wayne from Hylix and Chuck Salamone, the dude, Salamone, Salamone, the dude that did the music for Hylix too, actually liked this picture on Instagram, which made my freaking day, man. If you've not played Hylix 1 or 2, please go play those. You will not be disappointed. Here were some sketches I was doing for a... I was going to do a drawing of the Jabberwocky. But it never got very far. Um, so, I mean, let me know if you guys would still like to see that. Because I would probably still be interested in doing that. These are both... This is watercolor. This is a, a cover over. This is my friend Chris. He was uh, playing the guitar. One night. Before he moved away. And so I drew him playing the guitar. But you can barely see him now, unfortunately. It was like a... Trying to do anatomy off the top of my head, trying to exaggerate it, and it just looks weird. The dude's got like a stubby torso and like... Jacked up knees, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. There's Ryan Gosling. Everyone likes him. I like him. I think he's cool. Some sketches. Messing around with a pallet knife. There's Elon Musk shaking a Transformer's hand, per the request of my friend Trey. <laughs> hmm. Some flower guy. I like this flower guy. He made it onto a uh, some tarot cards I made for my sister, actually. You know, I'll bet I have a recording of that somewhere. Maybe I'll do that. My friend Brian drew me that. My mocha bean, Brian. I'm gonna link his stuff down below. He makes really good music. You should listen to him. We did that at Denny's. 
Uh, if you can't fix him, destroy him. Uh, I was trying to draw a good face, and then I messed up the face, and I started, like, adding lines to it, like Thanos or something. I don't remember why. And someone asked me why I did that. Brenda asked me why I did that, and I think I said, I can't fix him, and if I can't fix him, I will destroy him. And that became, like, a moniker from then on. This is a bunch of random stuff. Kissing Wicked was the name of a band of this couple I ran into. They were old married couple, and they were in a band, and they told me to check out their music, and I did. They have good music. This is back when I worked at a paint store, actually. I would draw things in my little notebook, because I got very bored. Some practice, I think from the Draw Box YouTube channel. It's a thing in the desert. This is taken from Evangelion. I watched Evangelion for the first time, guys. And it's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool show. Some random... Who knows what. Faces. I don't remember what this one's covering. It was just another face that I messed up. I'm trying to get that, like, upward three-quarter angle, which is really hard. And you can see I really didn't get it here. This one's alright. This one's close. And then a desert. I like this one a lot. There's like some mine behind this little house in the desert, a little tree. Probably a little mulberry tree. There's the art for that moving forward video. That's one of my favorite videos I think I've ever made. I really like that video. I'm not gonna bother censoring this guy, I don't... it doesn't matter. Some more stuff. Using some old markers I had to try and do shading. Didn't quite understand it as much as I do now, but, you know. Hmm. This was a, uh, little hand puppet that I made with my sister. Aw. He's like a little bug. Little insect fellow. As you can tell, I was very much into the art design of Persona 5 at the time. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Here we have some sketches, some designs. Uh, over top, some other designs. That one's pretty much Hornet from Hollow Knight. I guess done in more of a, uh, I guess Dark Souls-ish kind of style to it. This was some oil paint. That took forever to dry. Glued it in here. This sketch. Bunch of primary colors. This reminds me of, like, being in school, is what this reminds me of. I think these are oil pastels, because they definitely feel oily. Some ellipses, and then practice I did some ellipses as well kind of turned the practice from that draw box YouTube channel into a thing Man, that was so long ago that I did the practice here's a bunch of faces most of these are JC Lion Decker faces Anubis who's that dude again I had to design a race of bird people. I don't remember what for, but I... I think it was for a birthday card. I think it was for James's birthday card. And then there's a... Dale Cooper, cup of coffee. One of our challenges was... Uh, back when I went to college, we had an art club. And one of the challenges, we, we would have like a... Weekly, bi-weekly meeting. And uh, we would all have a theme for like art that we could make if we wanted to. And the theme was coffee. So of course, Twin Peaks came to my mind. I drew a little cup of coffee and that's actual coffee I used for it. I wonder if it still smells like coffee. Little bit, that's like vanilla coffee. Weird. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Perspective practice. I like how that one looks. That feels very nice and appealing.
designing like a flower person, I guess. And then a uh, nice 70s diner. It's so washed out. Can't even really see it too much. Uh, copied a shot from Cowboy Bebop. I believe that's just my name and hieroglyphics. I don't... I don't think that's how hieroglyphics worked, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I was tasked by my little sister to draw a mermaid watching TV while eating a bowl of clams. And she gave me these colors to work with. So uh, I did what I could. <laughs> it's a weird one. I will do a Vulcan hand sign. I don't actually remember what that means. Some more pose reference. I don't remember why somebody told me to draw like a knight. Like guarding a princess on horseback. And that is what we came up with. I like this guy's helmet. I like his helmet a lot. Perspective. Some algebra. College algebra homework. A tree in the park. Uh, designing some kind of Daft Punk looking dude. Eh, he looks alright. I think I could definitely refine him a little bit, but I like a lot of his design stuff that he has going on. Yeah. This was like paint with uh, some pen over top of it. It's just like a hallway, muddy hallway. Some more characters. A dude holding a gun. I don't remember what the pose reference was for this. This was some picture. And instead of just drawing the guy, I gave him those uh, wings. I can't remember what his name is. Somnus? I think it's Somnus, who was the god of sleep. There's a hand. I don't know. I do know, but I don't know. It's... Yes. It's a sloth holding a flower. Just some like ancient gods visiting that guy. I think this was the first thing I did in gouache, actually. I think it might be my first gouache. Um, they were all primary colors. And then there's this thing, which is uh, dark. So dark you can't see it, but it's a big mouth with a little skeleton in there. Horse mask. Bunch of unfinished stuff. That's my ticket from when we went and saw The Lighthouse. I loved that movie. My girlfriend did not. But I like that movie a lot. I think that's one of my favorite movies. It's that good. Rod Serling. Here's that video I released not too long ago. Like I said, I mean, I recorded this like forever ago, you know. I just barely got around to it, to uh, releasing it. Anatomy practice. Good stuff. Good fun stuff. This was a, a paper. A uh, drawing I was going to do for my sister's uh, birthday. No, it was for Christmas. I was doing a painting for her of like a... I don't know if it's biomechanical or if it's a helmet or whatnot. But a lady wearing a helmet. With a very long neck. It's Peter Capaldi. I drew a bunch of Peter Capaldi's. I don't know why. I was on a Doctor Who kick and I was like re-watching season 10. And uh, just drew a bunch of him. I like Peter Capaldi. He's a good doctor. I think he deserves more credit than he gets. I think that one turned out really well. Uh, here's uh, Lane Myers from Better Off Dead. 
aka John Cusack. If you haven't seen Better Off Dead, watch Better Off Dead. That's a good movie. I really like that movie. I like the hair on these as well. I think I did that hair really well. I really like this one. This one, this one I'm very proud of. Kind of like a Cyberman. I think that was when... No, never mind. I was going to say that was also on my Doctor Who kick. But I was going to say that's when the uh, the newest Cyberman guy came out. But it's not. It's not, actually. Cactus Samurai. Cactus Samurai. And that's the end of it. I think that my dog just started scratching at the door to come in. So I'll probably go let him in and call this a day. But um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And, you know, until next time.